This week, we take the camper van to Quartzsite, Arizona, go on a driving tour of RTR, chat about van life, and share our RV living tip for surviving in a small space. We are off to Quartzsite, and as we've learned from previous boondocking experiences, it is very good to stock up on fresh foods and things like that before going out to the desert. Right, Leo? I always get a bit nervous when Kate goes into the store by herself. She tends to find a lot of stuff she really wants and brings a lot more back than she pro probably should. And we're gonna head to Costco after this to stock up on a few other things. So be interested to see what the Sprouts Hall is today. All right, let's see what you got. What'd you get? Oh, Did you go overboard? Of... You know me, I always go <laughs> overboard. Okay, have you ever seen an avocado this big? No. It's a pound, feel it. Oh my God. <laughs> I got eggplant. Okay. Some broccoli and 10 cans of sardines. <laughs> so we're all set. All right. We are headed to the Escapers annual bash out in Quartzsite. We've never been out to Quartzsite before, so it should be a lot of fun. Everyone said it's one of those things you have to do at least once. Uh -huh. I also heard it's kind of like the burning man for our viewers. And Leo gets to go to Quartzsite. Yeah, he does. Just to lay out in the dirt all day long. Sorry, buddy. We finally made it. There's something big going on right down there. So I think let's take Leo for the for a bathroom break and then we can walk over. Sounds good. But can we take a moment to enjoy the sunset? Yes. I think I'm gonna go with a heaping spoon today. Got your new kettle. Uh huh. I love this thing. I just set the temperature and let it go to town. What tea are you making me? Earl Grey. Can you hand me the pop-up light that our WTR family member gave us? I just pulled it out. And so you kick them out of bed and stay there. Stick it in the My hands full. Oh. Shannon, if you're watching, thank you for our luchi light. There you go. This is Rick. His pants match my hat. Let's see. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> we became instant friends. They're in the Winnebago Paseo across the way. And Rick, you were saying, uh, what about Class B life? Class B life is fantastic, guys. A rig like this is huge. You've got the whole world around you. You can go anywhere and everywhere. No confinements, nothing. I love that you have your back doors open. It, it makes it even bigger inside, doesn't it? It's, it is huge. We call it our hillbilly curtain. And so we can just bring it, uh, bring it up and down. And especially at night, it's kind of nice. When it gets colder, um, we'd like to have the, the extra blanket to you know, keep the cold out. And it works well, and I mean, this is like uh, literally a $5 uh, Walmart blanket with uh, two clippies that we've got there, and we just put it between the, uh, between the screen here. I don't really drink. Uh, the only thing I like is this Grimberger Double. I recommend it to anybody. Um, so Grimberger, if they, uh, if they see this video at some point, just send me a check for the advertisement. <laughs> <laughs> but... Uh, we really like the lifestyle. It's much easier, much simpler, um, no stress. 
you know, the only stress that you might have is like, hey, the tanks get full, we need to dump. But that's <laughs> that's pretty much the stress level that we have. So, do you guys shower in your rig? Yeah, we do. Okay. However, um, not that often. Um, commonly, what we do is we go to uh, RV parks or state parks to do things like uh, uh, laundry, taking long showers, because obviously, with the limit of water capacity, it's you know you take a navy shower. You want to see the front as well. Now, of course, it is a slight mess because we are actually living here. Oh, I like this thing. Yeah. So where did you get that? Um, I believe we just got it at like a Walmart or something. Okay. And we velcroed it to the um, to the floor, mm -hmm. so it stays in uh, in place. Fridge. Fridge, um, nice. Big old pantry out here, um, and then our clothes go here. My wife's clothes go here. Mine go here. For the rest, we got storage out here, um, you know, pots and pans, that, that sort of stuff. Well, this is our shower, um, aka a place where we um, hang our trash. I mean, everything That's where is, we put our trash too. Everything is multifunctional and, you know, multi-use. Uh, you know, every everything that we've got in this rig has at least, you know, two or three uses. That is just, that's just how it goes. I love your uh, sticky note that says, be positive, be truthful and, and be, be helpful. helpful yeah love many trust few and do wrong to no one and with that you know life is life is good about all the seminars going on. Me too. So this first one is going to be... Free camping. And the next one is boondocking. Nice. Lands, recreation areas, and so many of these provide some sort of free camping out there. It's kind of funny to be talking to a group about boondocking, who are all boondocking. <laughs> <laughs> Day three at Quartzsite. It's been a lot of fun over at the Escapers Convergence. However, we are on the other side of Quartzsite from RTR, so we figured we'd drive in today. Let's go see the madness. I like it's just a tiny little sign. Uh-huh. RTR. Do you know how far we're supposed to go? Uh, the map said 1.4 miles. I don't think we'll have any problem finding people. Welcome to RTR. Thank you. We made it, but Leo, you made it to RTR. What do you think? This looks much more organized than all the reports I'd heard from other people. And it looks like a lot of fun, it's just really crowded. Everyone is parked right on top of, another, of each other. Um, so I'm really happy we are where we are, but I'm glad to have made it down here and taken a kind of tour around to see everything, so. But there were Very spots cool. further out where there was more space. Yeah. I think with any event, the closer you camp towards the center, the more crazy it gets. Mm -hmm. So if you're looking to convert your own van, I think RTR is the place to go. Yes. We are back. And I'm sure a lot of you guys are familiar with them. I hear they're big celebrities around here. They're gonna talk about van life and their transition from downsizing. What did you guys have before? We had a class A 
and towing a Jeep. Oh, nice. So now you guys don't even have a tow vehicle or anything like that. Well, I'll let them give you all those details. I won't ruin it. But we're excited to have them here, and I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you, Melanie and Travis, for having us and letting us do this chat. Back in 2015, we quit it all, and we hit the road in our Class A. We had a 30-foot Newmar. We were towing a four-door Jeep around. And after a while, we realized that the Newmar was just way too big for our needs. We were passing up a lot of spots. We weren't going to places we necessarily wanted to. So we decided to go through a process of downsizing, looking at other options, and ended up with the Class B. Five months into full-time RVing, we did a sort of spring cleaning and looked at all the stuff that we brought with us and realized we had empty cabinets, cabinets we've never even opened. A funny story I like to tell is Joe was looking for some socks and he couldn't figure out where they were. During our spring cleaning, I found a drawer in our motorhome, opened it, and it was all the socks he had been missing. And we were on the road for five months before we opened this drawer. And that's when we realized, holy cow, we have so much stuff we brought with us. We could go smaller. We can minimize even more. Four um, by four. <laughs> I'm hoping this is subliminal. Soak it in. Hey, I'm already sold on the four by four. Motorcycle. <laughs> we were actually joking that I could uh, drive the van and Joe could drive a touring bike and I'll be his uh, chase crew. And we'll just travel that way. Then he can have it. his motorcycle fix. One tip we wanted to share with you um, for anybody considering living smaller is, you know, the thing we talked about, which is how do we keep from killing each other? And the number one tip we have for everyone is to communicate, communicate, and then communicate some more, but communicate well. And then uh, communicate again. Yes. What you don't want to have happen, and we're talking from experience, is things will start to build up and you live in such a small space that if you don't communicate that, you don't let that out with your partner um, or scream at yourself if you live alone, it'll build up and eventually it bursts. You don't want that to happen because there's really no place to go escape. You don't have a car to drive off. You can, you know, take a quick walk, but you're going to be coming back. And 90 square feet feels really small when you're upset at each other. Hang up a blanket in the middle, you know. You know they're still on the other side. <laughs> Shameless plug. So we have a book. It's called Take Risks. One couple's journey to quit their jobs and hit the open road. It was kind of a passion project that I wrote. Uh, we wanted to tell the story about everything we went through leading up to getting on the road. So this was from day one when Kate came up with the crazy idea to actually live this lifestyle, to us quitting our jobs, selling the home, you know, just downsizing the home to make it into the motor home, and then that first day on the road. So it's the first book in a series. We have flyers if you'd like to take one, but the book is available pretty much on any digital platform. I also have paperback copies if you would like a signed copy here. There are other fellow van dwellers, so if you guys are seriously interested in downsizing to a van or even a small RV, I really encourage you to talk to all of them. I've had a lot of people ask me about coffee, and <laughs> tomorrow, 10 a.m. at our van, I'm going to do a little coffee demo, so you guys will get to see in person how the coffee works. Um, we're going to see if we can draw the battery down enough so that if you're there and I'm running my um, kettle, you'll see volts start in action. Thank you guys for coming and we do have a travel video series about what it's like to live in a camper van full time. If you're interested in checking it out, it's at our YouTube channel, We're the Russos, um, and we also share tips and tricks on our website. So thank you guys. Really appreciate you coming out. Thank you. Our session went really well yesterday. It did. The Q&A lasted almost as long as the session. We're gonna put the full seminar up on Patreon for our WTR family, so check it out over there if you're interested. And I've gotta get set up for a coffee demo.
Quartzite's been a lot of fun. Checking out the RTR was really interesting, but it is time for us to get going. We have a lot of work to do. We're not getting anything done here because this is just a fun party for everybody. <laughs> so we're packing up and we're heading out. I've never seen you pack up so quickly. I get to go for a motorcycle ride. Joe's getting all of his motorcycle gear. And I haven't done this in a while. <laughs> and to think I used to do this almost every day. <laughs> stiff because it's actually a racing clutch in there okay. and it's a 320 millimeter front rotor I mean you've rode sport bikes they had really good brakes but yeah. people used to dual sports it's not knobbies but th I mean they're, they're good so we'll just go up the road there's some a little bit of twist and turns not a lot but you know um, go up the road here and just take a ride nice. we're started <laughs> I want to say a huge thank you to Dan and Sarah from Two Wheel Ramblin. You guys are awesome. Dan, thank you so much for letting me take your bike out. I had an amazing time and it was it was the best way to, to end our experience here at the Escapers Annual Bash in Quartzsite, but now we've got to get to Vegas. So you guys, thank you again. Enjoy the book and we'll possibly run into you again in Texas. All right, my love, are you On ready to go? Yep. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and ding the bell for notifications for new videos. If you'd like to see the seminar we did on camper van life in its entirety, head on over to Patreon and become part of the WTR family. If you'd like to see the camper van series from the beginning, click right up here and we will see you next Wednesday. Bye.